Few people would argue that there are some big issues with our healthcare system, but the question is how to fix them. Joining me now is Jonathan Bush, co-founder and CEO of Athena Health. Jonathan, thank you so much for being here today. Shauna, it's a pleasure. So Athena Health is focused on bringing doctors and patients closer together. How are you doing this? Well, Shauna, we've got this idea that the internet is going to be big. Mm -hmm. uh, it's been big in other industries, yeah. and we're thinking healthcare, you know, is largely an information problem. Mm -hmm. Really, really complex threads of specialized information uh, that relate to diagnosis and then treatment uh, of disease, and so maybe the internet. Uh, mm -hmm. So we've been trying to build out, just like Bezos kind of created a chunk of the internet that was sort of fenced off a chunk of the internet and said, okay, this area is going to be safe enough, secure enough for our credit cards, connected enough to the offline world of mm -hmm. products uh, that the mainstream of us trust it, right, to, mm -hmm. to do some basic retail. We're just doing the same thing. We're going to take a chunk of the internet, we have taken, uh, and we've secured it, and we've made it uh, safe enough, idiot-proof enough, and connected enough to the largely offline world that is healthcare today so that the mainstream of doctors feel comfortable using it. And what are the biggest challenges that your company is facing while you try to expand the internet in healthcare? Healthcare is a slow moving bird. Mm -hmm. This is a bird that flies slowly. It's a miracle, it flies at all. You have the Hippocratic Oath, which is that people don't want to make a mistake and hurt someone, which is a noble reason for being slow. You have, ironically, donations. People actually give money to health systems so that they don't have to evolve. Mm -hmm. And they're allowed to hang around, win the Darwin Award, and continue for another year. Mm -hmm. uh, and the last thing is, uh, it's a new idea. Any organism, any society, any marketplace uh, resists in the beginning. But we do now have 10% of all ambulatory medicine on the cloud. There are now more patients on AthenaNet than in the entire United Kingdom National Health Service. Mm -hmm. So it's working. And in the healthcare industry, Affordable Care Act, has been a big change for the industry. How yep. has that impacted your business? Well, Shauna, what we've decided to do as the fuel, right? Mm -hmm. Everybody wants to be a platform, but a platform requires lots of people coming to one place that you control. The way we've drawn people to our platform is basically we're a work service. We mm -hmm. take all of the stuff that doctors just hate mm -hmm. and stink at related to administration, uh, bureaucracy, coding, insurance, malpractice, bookkeeping, we've taken all that. If you come to our platform, we'll give you our systems mm -hmm. for free and we'll charge you a small percentage of what it costs you to do that stuff that you hate and suck at. Mm -hmm. That draws people in. It also pulls away a lot of their time that they used to spend not seeing patients, making it available for patient care. So we've got a billing service, a medical records management service, a referral management service, a patient population health engagement service. All of these things have a lot of administrative crap in them that doctors don't like that we absorb. And Athena Health has been growing at an averaging 30% growth per, per year. Right. That's pretty rapid. So how are you going to sustain that going forward? Well, uh, it's, so the sad news is that there's not a lot of innovative companies in healthcare. Mm -hmm. The good news is... <laughs> Even if we stink, we're really the only choice. If you want to go to the cloud and stop trying to maintain your own computer systems and billing departments and medical record departments, which everyone hates, you really got to go to Athena. Uh, in fact, one of our challenges is to make sure other entrepreneurs do come so that we don't become a food desert of technology in and of ourselves. So we actually invest in new companies to come and get them to sell onto our platform. And one of the biggest uh, challenges, I think, at least, facing the medical industry, the healthcare industry, is the fact that so many doctors are saying that they feel fatigued. There was a new study out yes. over 50% of doctors. What's your take on that? It's amazing, right? You mm -hmm. think of the romance of medicine, and even when you go to a hospital and the beepers and there's intense, you get the sense that some pretty amazing feats uh, would go on in there. And uh, I saw that same survey. I think it was on Hippocrates, which is our mobile app. Mm -hmm. uh, might have been, I don't know. Uh, but 50% but for the first time ever of doctors actually say, this is not so great, aren't yeah. recommending it to their kids. Uh, and the reason, as you say, is administrative tax. 40% of doctor time, if you look on our network, one of the neat things about having 80,000 doctors on one instance of one application, which we do, is you can see every, it's like a giant habit trail. You can see where everybody's going and mm. what they're doing. Half their staff is still administrative. And we've already cut tons of staff by taking over their billing and medical record. Mm -hmm. Half their time, 40% of their time, is administrative. That's a huge tax and it's a huge cost to all of us. Mm -hmm. It's literally like we've got this whole other healthcare system mm -hmm. hiding underneath the healthcare system that we can see 
which is the other half of everybody's time. Right. You know, they would be there for free if we could just get the crap out of it. Well, Jonathan Bush, thank you so much for joining us today. I really appreciate it. I love it. it. I love it. This is a sexy, cool studio. <laughs> I'm glad to be here. Thank you. Well, we hope to have you back. So now it's your turn. What do you think is the biggest issue with our healthcare system? Let us know what you think in the space below or on the Yahoo Finance Facebook page.